as if the Audi RS7 needed any more grunt. Meet this, the Audi RS7 Performance. With more power and more torque than the standard RS7, the performance model takes the five-door swoopy coupe even further into supercar territory. I'm talking 445 kilowatts of power, 750 newton meters of torque, a head spin inducing 0 to 100 time of just 3.7 seconds, and a top speed of measly 305 k's an hour. Yes, 305. The 4-litre twin-turbo V8 is immensely satisfying. There's just so much urge. And the noise. My God. It's enough to give you blisters in your eardrums. There's just so much power. And before you know it, you're pushing into Aussie jail time territory on the speedometer. The 8-speed auto is generally exceptional. Although it can be a little slow when downshifting at high pace. In auto mode though, it seems to know what's required when. But the most amazing thing about the RS7 is that it can be as sharp as a scalpel or as smooth as a butter knife. It's that duality that makes the RS7 so impressive. It's a consummate highway cruiser, but also a mind-bending cornering bruiser. The all-wheel drive system allows you plenty of cornering grip and immense amounts of traction when you're accelerating out of the twists as well. But it's also to the detriment of the handling. You will experience some understeer in tight corners and even some torque steer under hard throttle. Going fast is only any good if you can stop too and the optional carbon ceramic brake package on our test car is a must for buyers who want the most out of their money. So, it's a phenomenal thing to drive, but just look at it. It is enormous, but it's beautifully proportioned. Just look at those haunches and that glorious quattro insignia in the front splitter. And while it's low and sleek, it's roomy inside. A true four-seater super saloon. Our tester has the RS Performance Design Package with a gorgeous blue honeycomb carbon fibre twill as well as Alcantara just about everywhere you cast your eye. This is a supercar in a sports saloon body and to be honest Audi probably didn't need to add more power to the RS7 but I tell you what, we're glad they did.